All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot called TempoBot. This bot features a lot of the same frills and thrills that you've come to expect of a lot of powerful Discord music bots. It's got high quality audio, it offers you complete control through commands and also buttons when you're listening to songs inside of Discord, along with top notch hardware for. 99.9% .9 uptime. And if you decide that you really like the bot, you want to pay for it, it also comes with a lot of cool different commands that you can get access to, like filters and fancy tools. It also has 24 seven audio. You can have up to six bots in one server or something like that. I'm not sure if this is in one server or across multiple servers. So if you have like people who want to listen to different stuff in different channels, you can, and all this other stuff that you see here. I will say that the one downside to this bot, if you're looking for one that plays from different sources, is it looks like TempoBot primarily plays from Spotify. It no longer plays from YouTube to avoid the cease and desist issue that plagued Groovy and RhythmBot. So to add it, all you gotta do is click on this Add but to Discord button right here, and it'll take you through the standard Discord bot invite process. And if you're having technical problems, you can click here to join their support server. And then once this bot gets added to your Discord server over here, it'll send you a message that looks something like this if I type in help, or it'll introduce itself, tell you by giving you a couple example commands, what the prefix looks like and how to get started using it. I will say the one downside that I'm not super fan of in this bot is that it doesn't just give you the list of commands when you type in help which would be super useful, because having to open up like a browser to look at all these different things is kind of annoying. So the first thing we need to do to utilize this bot is we need to hop into a music channel, and I'm actually going to turn down my volume so it doesn't murder my ears while I record this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by searching for music. Typically I start by searching for NCS, but I believe Spotify doesn't have a lot of the no copyright sound stuff on that platform, at least not in a way that I'm familiar with. So we're gonna have to do a different search than I normally would and type out no copyright sounds and see what we get. All right, so this, this gives us more freedom to check things out. So I know Horizons is from NCS, so we'll start by number two. And all you have to do to get this to play one of the things that you search for is just type out the number. You don't have to like, at the bot or anything. And then because I was already searching for different music, the bot automatically hopped into the channel with me to get ready to play music, and then immediately started playing music when I told it which one to play. I do like that, and that is something that you don't always see. So let's search for more of that music. And we'll just start adding like number 10 to the list, and then we'll just search for I don't know, um, lo-fi? Yeah, everyone likes lo-fi. And so what I'm trying to do right now by adding different songs to the queue is this will actually allow us to look at the queue and see what's going on. So right now you can see, like, we're currently playing Horizons by Jean G, and that's got about 7 minutes and 55 seconds still to play. And then it'll tell you that Upcoming, we've got Wizards and Rain, and they've been added by the user Larry Chupacop. So that's kind of important to know. And the other thing that's really nice about this player is, while you're playing music, it gives you a current song, like play control, and it gives you like start, stop, skip forward, skip back, loop the current song, rand like loop just the, the one continuously. You can favorite this song for later, you can search for more songs like this, or you can stop and it'll kick the music player out of the channel and it'll clear out the queue. So I do like that this has a simple set of different buttons that you can use. Not every bot has that. We'll type in the queue and then we'll say, let's remove two. Okay, so you can just use the standard removal command and it'll remove things from the queue. And now the cue should just be down to the song we're listening to along with what's coming up next. All right, cool. 
Next up, let's look at what you get when you type in settings. So for settings, we can change a few things, including something that I actually really like. So for you can change the prefix if the arrow is not working for you or if it is uh, doubling up with another bot. I know that happens a lot. So being able to change the prefix is important. The other thing is being able to assign a DJ. Let's type in settings, DJ, and then let's uh, say that the role is at DJ. You, you can't find a role with the name DJ that I've literally added. All right, let's try that again without adding it. Settings, DJ, DJ. Okay, now the uh, DJ role has been set up by just specifying the name of the DJ. So now, if I have like another random user on the server, I can literally go to that person and I can add the role DJ, and they're basically an admin whose entire job it is to just manage the bot, the music bot, and they can skip songs or remove garbage that somebody tries to sneak in there to be a troll. The other thing I really like is that you can blacklist channels so that the bot only works in one channel. So I could go like settings, blacklist, and then I can grab like, I don't want people to talk in bot chat so I can just grab the ID and I can add blacklist bot chat. And now this won't look in the bot chat channel anymore for commands. It'll only work in the music controls channel. So I'll also blacklist it in the general chat channel. So anyway, we've got a bunch of channels blacklisted, so we could do things like grab this voice channel, general, and I don't want people to be able to use this channel anymore to uh, listen to the music, because it's just supposed to be in the listen here channel, so I could just do blacklist voice, and then I add that channel. So now the general voice chat channel is now on the blacklist, and I can just look at the settings panel, and it'll tell me what's blacklisted. So I can also make sure that in DJ controls are enabled. So let's make sure that's set up. Settings, DJ controls, enable. Cool, that, I mean, it doesn't make sense to set up a DJ if you can't use the controls. And then we can also set it up so that only the DJ can submit commands to the music bot if the use of the music bot gets out of control. So that's also nice. That's just like a random background sounds mix. And is there anything else we want to check out before I move on here? We can do things like vote and check out the perks for the bot. You can move it from channel to channel. You can change the prefix and you can also make your own preset quick commands. If you find yourself using a command a lot, this would actually be handy if you use the settings a lot because typing in settings before a command that's only under settings is kind of redundant. Then we can repeat. All right, let's just look for stats, just for curiosity's sake. So it'll tell you how many places that this bot is currently running, um, how many threads it's using, how much memory it's currently using, shard IDs. So currently it's in like 89,000 servers. It's active in... 450 of them at this exact moment and the most recent uptime is the bot's been running uninterrupted for nine days 20 hours and 42 minutes okay that's kind of cool and then you can also review the bot and vote for it at this url on top.gg so that's cool if you like the bot you know you should vote for it so they they can do better and then we can also look at perks what does perks tell us about the future Okay, so if you if you pay for premium, this is kind of like a list of all the things that you get. So you can look through this if you want. Things like auto cleanup can be handy if you don't want just like a channel filled with bot spam of like people putting in commands and people using the play button. That's one of the things I actually like about Hydrobot. So it would be good to have that for this bot as well, although you have to pay for it. And you can also get beta access to new features as well weeks before the regular release, which is cool. And then if you pay for it, you get priority support, which makes sense. You obviously want to help the people that pay for your bot first before anyone else. 
So some of these are actually really cool features. Uh, how much is premium? So here at the top, they warn you that they don't, uh, they don't run off of YouTube anymore because of potential legal action from YouTube. But they tell you that you can pay $5 a month for one server and you get all these different perks. Or if you pay yearly, it's like $50 and it saves you a little bit of time, a bit of money. Uh, you can have it on up to 10 different servers and it's like $15, $16 a month for 10 different servers. That's a lot of servers. I'd probably only run on a, like a premium music bot on like one. And people on the other server can just deal with it. Um, yeah, so if you've got options if you really like this bot. I would say for the most part, the vast majority of the features you'd want are just the ones that are the most basic. Obviously, you don't get things like playlists, but you can quickly just search for music and make your own queue and just tell the whole thing to loop. And uh, oh, here's the remove command. I was looking for that. And uh, the, the, the perks of having premium are nice. And if you do like the bot and use it a lot, you should probably pay for it. But it's definitely not strictly required. I do know there's a lot of bots out there that are slowly restricting their best features behind a paywall, but it looks like this one, the bread and butter of a music player is always going to be free. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about it. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at TempoBot and how to use it to play music and search for stuff and set up DJ roles and restrict it to certain channels. I hope you found this helpful. I will put a link in the video description to check out TempoBot for yourself. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.